Hello there and welcome back to the channel. So Shadowbound Seraphah just dropped today in this video. Let's do a banner review. All right, so this was an easy pull for me for two very simple reasons. She is the second unit to have determination that is damage reduction of 50% five times to the whole party. Now this is the passive that was introduced on Summer Yuri and it completely changed the game. It's a broken passive. I'm still using Summer Yuri in Arena. However, the fact that Yuri doesn't have Karma yet means that her skills are kind of jamming things up a bit. But of course, Sarafa being a new unit, she does have that. 30% haste like everyone else does. And again, for those two reasons alone, Karma plus Determination, and because I like to play Arena, that's why I pulled. And of course, uh, these normal pool units, you can pity at only 100 pulls. And keep in mind, though, that normal pool units, uh, she will not be added to the pool until February. As they have announced, that's how they're doing things now. Okay, so that was enough reason for me, but let's take a look at the rest of her kit. So she's very tanky. That's some high HP there, some pretty high defense. The attack is pretty low for today's standards, so she's not going to be a damage dealer. All right, we have a character skill usable at start that has hits on it. The first one in the game that actually has hits. 20% damage to one enemy four times. Now 20% is not going to do any damage and her attack is low, but Think about this, you're shaving off four hits of someone's damage reduction right away. So it cures two status ailments for each ally. Now I can't think of a situation where you have more than one ailment, but maybe we'll see that with a future boss soon. I'm sure they wouldn't just put that in for no reason. And then remove one status effect from one enemy. Okay, so what's the status effect? A good friend of the channel, Bees, shared this in my server. Just to kind of break everything down, an ailment is something like poison, stun, burn, blind, compromise. Buffs and debuffs, obviously, you have, um, you know, valiance or attack down or defense down or crit rate up, add you down, add you up. We're not talking about that here. We're talking about status changes or status effects. Uh, so, pursuit. Um, regen, provoke, dauntless, perhaps. Um, I'm not so sure about like a crush being removed because you wouldn't want to remove a crush. So I don't, I'm not sure if that's going to go in the same class here. Um, indomitable and, uh, defiance. So yeah, some, some terms that we uh, kind of use interchangeably here but yeah so like for example in arena it, it might remove a provoke um it might uh l let's say you target like a mech gale and she's with a divine new deal it might remove her pursuit the problem is that it kind of chooses one at random kind of like when you're using celeb f66x and you're cleansing a debuff and you have two debuffs, it just kind of picks one at random and it doesn't do the same thing every time. All right, so she is bringing 8% swiftness. So like a mono wind team, make sure you have actual wind units. Mono wind team could be cooling down very fast. So let's say in arena, you, you bring her and you pair her with, you know, best gale or mech Yuzuki as karma now or whatever other wind unit you want to use. And uh, maybe the new Rion, this could be pretty frightening. You could have some really strong DPS units just ready to go, cooling down before you. So that's a possibility there. Of course, I'm always arena minded, right? I think like her main usage is going to be in like hard PVE content like Fateboard. So she'll be a great support unit there. And again, I don't know what we're going to see, you know, as far as like really wanting to cleanse that many elements and removing 
status effects from the boss. You know. Okay, so uh, a leap. Well, that's 30%. You know, whatever. Kind of boosts the wind a little bit. And then timed fatal. You know, of course, we've talked about this. This is very powerful passive. So this debris would be crazy to go for. But... You know, this Whirlwind Leap, that's that's a third passive. Not totally necessary. The good news is you get that determination, the thing I'm so hyped on, you get it at A0. So I had to pity her to even get one copy. But Okay, we have all the... Oh, the offensive variety here. Interesting. Again, the, the offensive options. Extension of status boosting effects. Now, that would be more like a buff. And then the typical stuff here, of course, the the cooldown. Okay, let's take a look at her weapon. So, pretty high HP. Uh, party agi 10 seconds, which, you know, only matters if you already have an agi buff. And it's 14 seconds, so that could come off very fast in Arena, as fast as you can go, really. But then... Pairing it with a 23 second skill is kind of weird. And it just buffs when damage. So because she's not very offensively oriented, I don't... I don't know. It, it just... The weapon feels a little weird to me. But guess what? It's a boon haste weapon, and those are always awesome in the subs. Okay. The Novus Pistol. Again, pretty high HP. Pretty high attack. That's an awesome combo there. And then, once again, like uh, like an EX-type skill, 23 seconds, you know, buffing wind damage. But then a weird 14-second increase-your-own-agility skill. And I don't I don't get it. Like, where, where do I want such a weird um, imbalance of skills? Like, this could be cool in Arena, but then this one's going to get jammed up. Well, the passives are pretty cool, like, general usage. 20% Pursuit is pretty high and very awesome, and then Vigor helps boost your attack stat, so it could be a really cool sub. Alright, the Ultra Wing Sword. Decently high HP, pretty high attack. Uh, that's kind of like not stupid high for a great sword, but pretty good. And then, let's see, oh, do we have a 2020? No, almost. Oh, uh, let's see, uh, a Wind Crush at 20. And then increase your wind damage. So like an EX skill, only four hits, but 110. 23 seconds. And then another boon haste. So that's nice. Always a good sub. And then it could be actually pretty cool. You know, on like a... Maybe like your abstract U deal or something. This could be a good... Uh, it could actually be a good main hand. Uh, maybe even... Uh, I don't know. I could see it in Subjugation or Fate Board, really. Pretty cool. Yeah, so that's it. So should you pull? Ask yourself if that utility really matters to you. Like, people who don't care about Arena, you know, I'm again, I'm always kind of Arena-minded. And I pull for Arena. And this, like, passive alone is just awesome. And so broken, you can get it for 100 pulls. And then this is, again, it's just a little weird right now. So if you don't care about Arena, then ask yourself if this matters to you. Or are you struggling with, like, ailments and Fate Board? And, uh, yeah. So she's going to have some, like, tanky capabilities. I'd love to, like, try to put a Provoke weapon on her in Arena, even though it's not her element. But guess what? The character skill doesn't have a wind stipulation. You get all of the effects... Nothing here says must be using wind main. So you could, you know, main the subjugation spear and, you know, be able to chain AAs or maybe you want a short character skill animation. You throw that uh, Lavanya ROD fist on her. Cool. So, yeah, that's it. Those are my thoughts. If you're pulling, best of luck to you. That's going to be it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.